Today I'm going to be um, debunking one of the um, biggest games you hear about dev kits, and that is that they can't pay retail games. This is actually only partially true. Well, the real is, is that they can only pay retail games if they're activated. If they're not activated, then they can't. At least not without refood. So, I'm going to show you here that um, if I head over to debug settings, activation, show expiry date, my kit is in fact activated. And so, because of this, it can pay retail games, right? So, um, I'll just show you all I don't have Hankaku on right now, as well. So, you know, I'm not just paying this. See system update. And um, if we head over to system information, um, it shows the system version properly. So, yeah. So, I'm only trying this with a um, physical copy of Hypo Devotion Noir. Okay, here it is, the official game count from Sony. Okay. I pop this in. Take out the SD reader. Pop this memory card in. I just dropped my phone. Okay. Right, this is the game installed, basically no problem, and when I run it... Prepare to be amazed. Wow, look, it's working. And again, I'll show you with a different game. Because I also have Super Dimension Neptune vs. Sega Hat Girls on cartridge. So. Once again, the game loads up no problem.
as you can see, works perfectly. So please, stop saying that you can't play retail games on a dev kit. It's just not true.